So I want to talk about this aspect of group lessons using Zoom and off to class from your own website. I want to talk about it in two ways. First, I want to talk about it from the technical perspective, and then I want to talk about it from the practical perspective. And basically, in a nutshell, it's really easy from a technical perspective, and it's really hard from a practical perspective. So let me just talk a little bit about that. Scheduling software has gotten really good in the last couple of years. There are some really excellent, really robust options out there from Acuity to Schedule Once to a platform called Omnify. There are new ones coming up all the time and they're excellent and they can really handle just about any situation or circumstance. You just have to find the right program with the right feature set. Now it may be expensive, you know, some of these more robust solutions are sometimes up to 50 or $100 a month like per user per year. So from that perspective, you know, it might be difficult, but I just wanted to put it out there that it is easy to find um, the right system that can do it. Now, Practically, I said practically speaking, this is very hard. So why is it practically very hard? All right, so it can be tricky to organize group lessons with people who are all over the world. It is a little bit easier if you're doing it localized. So if you're targeting people in one specific time zone, that does make it a little bit easier. But when you're talking globally, it does become a little bit more difficult. Now, the way that I've seen that done successfully is with big language schools. It can be done successfully if you have teachers who can be available across time zones 24 hours a day. And then it's easy to say to students, you can book whatever time works for you whenever. It does become hard to fill up, let's say one eight person class that you know, you'll, you're go end up going to end up having times that are good for some, but not for others. And it can be a little bit tricky. Here's what I have seen people do and have success. And I've seen even really big people do it this way. Instead of trying to schedule something and using, and using like a robust kind of scheduling software, what I would recommend is simply saying, this is the time that the class is going to be. You do your best to um, find a time that will fit into everyone's availability, but you can't please everyone, generally speaking. And if you just say, this is the time it's going to be, um, and, and it depends on how you offer it. You can say things like, we're only going to have eight of them, okay? So for this, you know, this period of time that you're enrolled in a course, and they're going to be every week at the same day and at the same time. So if it's a difficult time, maybe someone can arrange themselves so that they can be available just for that couple of months while you have the sessions going on. What a lot of people also do is they say, it's going to be recorded, don't worry if you miss it. So I would definitely suggest going that route. Um, and you could even go through a, a, a certain amount of effort at the beginning to try to find the daytime combination that's going to work for the greatest number of people. But I think it is tricky for one person to try to say to a group of people that is scattered across time zones, here, let's use the scheduling system. When I've seen that done in the past, it often leads to a, make it difficult for everyone to be uh, find a time that they're satisfied with. So now it's different if you, like I said, if you're more like a language school and you have hundreds of students and dozens of teachers, and then you may need to do that. And then it might be a little more practical because you've, you've kind of logistically got your bases covered in terms of people to cover the various time zones. But if it's just you, then you're far better off, in my opinion, saying, I do, I offer a group class once a week. I offer it at this time. And, and look, you could even, if you, if you scale yourself up to a certain number of students, you could start offering classes at different times. So you could do, you could do one class every day that is a certain number of hours apart. Uh, and that, you know, you, that, that would give people a chance no matter where they are to have, have more than one choice to join you on a given day. Those are just a couple of ideas that, um, that could make that work. But yeah, I would definitely recommend if you're more toward the starting out, 
um, not to do something too complicated, but if you want to offer group classes for through your own website, to start by just picking a certain day and a certain time and saying this is when it's going to be. I hope that is helpful if you want me to elaborate on anything that I've shared or you have a follow-up question, and this goes for anybody, just post it as a comment to this video and 